educationally, how do you feel like things went for you guys? In the yeah, not bad. I mean, there's always room for improvement, Buck. Um, but not bad, you know, when you send send your, your new young players out there, you hope we can operate. And, you know, there were some good things and some things to fix. What did you tell Malik, I guess, specifically? Had some good plays, maybe some plays you'd like to see him do better. What's, what's the grade there? Yeah, just, you know, consistency. You know, there's obviously some cool splash flashes, you know, that are really cool. And we just need some real consistency there. And that'll come. It's a process. It's a 1% better each day, you know, as, uh, relative to Malik. With a guy like that, you know, so much athletic ability, you want that playmaking ability, but you want him to throw the ball too. Like, how do you go about balancing that and not coaching that athleticism? Yeah, you know, you don't want to take that away, that type of skill set away from a player. You just kind of got to work through it, the process. And I think the best thing for any player is just visual evidence of watching the tape and then kind of the light bulb kind of going off, going on. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, you know. And so there's a balance there, obviously, that we continue to work through. This is a process. And uh, there's a patience level there to do that. How have you seen the footwork, you know, the lower body and, and the upper part being married? I know that's something you wanted to have. Yeah, it's a process, you know. And the cool thing is Malik's self-aware of what he needs to do. And when you're self-aware in anything we, any one of us do, then you have an opportunity to enhance it. And so he's very self-aware of it. We work on it every day. You guys see it. And it's just a process. Not a lot of, of throws to the middle, I guess, of the field for Malik. Is that by design, you know? Uh, is that just what was open? You know, does he need to do more of that? What, what are your kind of thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, didn't really, like, chart, like, where the ball is going. But maybe you're right. Um, but... You know, there's opportunities in there with some guys that were open that, you know, we need to throw the ball to that person if they're open. And, uh, but again, film's great, you know. Visual evidence is great for any player, especially quarterbacks, where you can go back and watch it. It was his first environment in that, in that situation. And, and again, it's it's just a 1% better and working at it and uh, each day. I, think, I just think it's new, you know, it's a new system. It's a new league, um, being a new player and, you know, that's probably a good question for him. Um, but again, it's just like, it's a process. There's a patience level um, that I'm comfortable with. And, uh, you know, we're just going 1% better, John. Like, literally, like 1% better each day is all we're trying to do. Concept of throwing it when you're asked to throw it new, that seemed a little extreme. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a new system, you know. It's a brand new system for any young quarterback that comes into the NFL. So there's there's a process there that you build on, and each day we're just trying to get a little bit better at it, Paul. And it takes some time. But, you know, you see the cool flashes. We just got to try to get some consistency and keep working on it. We tell Logan, who's obviously done some good things, but didn't have a great night Thursday, just to kind of keep him getting down on himself and keep rolling. Yeah, Logan's pretty self-motivated always, but he's been through this like for four years now, you know. Um, Obviously, we have to take care of the ball. He knows that. The one of the things he did do is he converted uh, passing on five out of seven third downs passing. Like that was pretty cool. That kind of you don't see that in a loss, but uh, you know that's some efficiency there that was good to build on.